OG on here. Alright, let's, uh, let's get this. Let's just get done. So I think we're supposed to. Uh, Too much. I ate way too much. Uh, before starting, we decided to go for because um, you know, as geeks, we understand the importance of uh, treating our bodies like temples. So we said, let's go get something really healthy. Yeah, very like healthy. A, like a poutine. I had a smoke. <laughs> no, I had a steak poutine from a restaurant called uh, Les Frères Grill in Longueuil. Yeah. Uh, my man here had a galvaude. If I'm yeah, I'm galvaude, which is uh, uh, pulled chicken and. Uh, green peas on uh, if you don't know what poutine is it's basically like a gangbang of uh, uh, gravy sauce <laughs> fries and, oh, uh, and <laughs> cheese curds and the thing is, is, is since I left Quebec cheese curds are illegal anywhere else because unpasteurized milk is illegal everywhere else but in Quebec and so you can't get a real poutine unless you come here, here. Nowhere else. Here. Nowhere else. So for anybody listening from the States or yeah. out of town. Yeah. Yeah. I have friends that came, uh, a camera team that came. We yeah. were filming uh, a commercial and they came from uh, LA, uh, Philly. Ooh. And they're coming down and they're like, we've heard about this poutine thing. Yeah. Let us taste it. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's now become uh, uh, their calling. Like, hey, yeah. poutine. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you go you go to Montreal party, yeah, because huh? we're party. well worldwide known for, for, party. for parties, yeah. uh, and poutine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I hadn't had one in a really long time. I had it. I regret it already, but it's a nice regret. There's different <laughs> levels of regret. <laughs> huh? Food There's regret. Food, food regret. <laughs> which which you know what? It ties into our subject, yes. which we're gonna talk about um, the importance of food. Yeah. Uh, in cultures in general, and just how we use food. I well, think. arguably, I think that food is culture, right? When you ever, whenever somebody talks about a, a specific culture, the first thing they ever bring up, like when somebody says, "Oh, you know, I know the Filipino culture. I've had pho, right? Or I know this culture. I've had this, right? I know this culture. I've had that." It's like the number one thing that people share when it comes to when when culture is ever brought up. I mean, I I I don't know if you've ever had this, G. Uh, there's um, uh, haka food. Have you ever had haka food? No, but okay, haka food. I, yeah. I'm hearing haka. Yeah. So what is haka food? So and and I might get this wrong. Please don't destroy me in the comments. I'm just repeating what somebody told me. Um, so haka is like a region between Taiwan and India, and it's a mix. The food is in effect a mix of this Chinese and well sorry Taiwanese I don't want to get politically destroyed here but it's a mix of this like uh, uh, Pacific Asian and very spicy and very uh, and very Chinese and very like it's, it's this really really interesting mix the thing is is it's super spicy right I mean like spicy like proper spicy ghost pepper spicy uh, I might have actually heard about it in yeah. uh, an anime called Food Wars. <laughs> actually, just because it's you started to say that, yeah, an anime called Dude, Food Wars. Guys, okay, you, you might not like anime, you might not find it interesting, or maybe you do. And the image in your head of, okay, so I know Dragon Ball and yeah. I know, you know, fighting type yeah. animes, but an anime food? about food, no <laughs> lie. They're, they're cooks. It's, it's, they're all, Are you it's serious? Kitchen. <laughs> There's an academy, oh, and geez. they have they have food fights where it's like chef against chef to have certain rights to, yeah. to, to to you know to restaurants and stuff like that. Think fighting in a dojo, you know, to <laughs> dojo breaking. Yeah, you go to a dojo and then you know break the board and you're like, hey, I own your dojo now. Yeah, same thing for food. And you see how they mix it and everything looks delicious. And their right. drawings, I'm saying. like, mm -hmm. I actually got motivated to learn to cook because of this anime. I <laughs> loved watching it. So anyways, they were mentioning oh, from this region, this region, Sichuanese, blah, blah. So when you mentioned spicy, I think, oh, okay, yeah. that's where I heard it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It hot seemed hot. hot. Yeah, 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 fire yeah. Hot. On, a, on a drawing. <laughs> Imagine. I, but I have to taste it. So yeah, you said food. 
Food is culture. Food is culture. I would argue that, um, you know, whenever you think about family gatherings, whenever you think about the places where where you get more intensely entrenched with your with your culture is usually around a holiday, uh, some sort of a party, some sort of a some sort of a family gathering, and those are always always sprinkled with food, if not smothered with food. I mean, yo, know, whenever you talk about New Year's, you know, I'm Haitian. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and you know, New Year's is subjumu. Like you cannot talk about New Year's without sub-jumu, talking about subjumu, baby. Subjumu all over. You know what I mean? And 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 what's really interesting, and I don't know if you ever experienced that, but you know, we've always traveled into different houses uh, to have the soup at different houses. Yeah, we uh, collect, we sample. Yeah, yeah, different types. Yeah, oh, yeah. And there are different types. And, and and my brother Steve, he he makes a challenge of it. Like you will like this year seven, <laughs> like, but you're like okay, dude. Like you actually want your body to explode. This is Jumu. Quick, <laughs> oh, man, it's hilarious, but it's a thing. It's an actual thing. You have to Jumu to death or something. <laughs> like Steve does it, and he takes it seriously. seriously. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My my actually Steve's mother in law. Uh, uh, is probably the one that I've seen with the most difference. She will actually, uh, she makes the soup and she makes steaks on the side to add into the soup. So she will make a steak, like proper seared, chop it down, add it on top of the soup. <laughs> and it's like, you know what? Church. Okay. <laughs> Like, like the soup is intense, but it's 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 um it's how you meet and 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 then when you meet different people and they talk about how they made certain foods, uh, usually it comes with a story of of an of a, of a patriarch or a matriarch and and how uh, how their family used to do it this way and da 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 and there's a story with it and so that's tradition, my argument. the yeah. tradition that goes with it yeah the tradition that's the right word there's the tradition is the culture is the food and I think that breaking bread with a family uh, is probably the most in, intimate thing that you can really do in my opinion not at a restaurant a restaurant is one thing and, and it can yeah. it can bridge a gap and it can make you feel back home but when you go to somebody's house and you have their family's food yeah like there is no experience like this I'll always remember a, a Christmas party uh, uh, somebody the the shower made nameless uh, I, I don't want to drop names but he was dating an Indian girl. And around the, the Christmas holidays, um, they brought Indian food to a Haitian party. And at first people were like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, of course. Like, <laughs> huh? But then they huh? ate. And it was like, it was obscene. Like imagine, I don't know if you've ever, ever had uh, uh, sag paneer. It's like... Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sag paneer. Zirikola pua. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then put a naan bread on the side. It's like, uh, yo, it's a good mix. Dope. It's a good mix. Dope, dope. <laughs> Things like, you would not think about. It's actually, okay, so I'll, I'll give you an example. Every time um, we have uh, one of the parties, birthday parties for the kids, yeah. whether you like it or not, um, so their mother is Lebanese. Yeah. So there's going to be Lebanese food. Yeah. Uh, but she's been entrenched in Haitian culture. Yeah. So she would make Haitian food. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's, 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 we're so now used to it. And people coming to parties are so used to it. They expect certain things. Yeah. So they'll be like, okay, we'll have, uh, manaish, which is, uh, basically a, a type of pizza. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they'll, they'll have that. It's, a, it comes from Armenians, actually, Armenian pizza. So you'll have manaish, they're on the side. And it's okay, cool. But you'll also have, Asian patties. Yeah. So like they coexist. Yes, very well. You, very you go well. you go around and there's uh, chicken rice with almonds. Oh, oh. And they are zoo and and I have to give props. Rula does like one of the best. I haven't had that in so long. Deep. deep. Rula, how you doing? <laughs> hey, hey. How you while doing? while you're in the zone, might as well pass by. No, totally. Yo, um, yo. This, 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 this is a good mix. Am I, am I, and, you have, mix. and you have that rice. Yes. Then you have the ricole on the side too. Yes. So we have two, two yes. rice, not oh, two phones, two rice. You can have more than two. two good rice. You can yeah, have yeah. more than two. You can do, oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Because ziri is life. Ziri is life. Ziri over everything. Z- oh, my. Oh, 
as a Haitian, over everything. everything. Can you believe when I was young, I was I did not love rice, hmm. and and that's when I realized I was a disobedient child. <laughs> I was a I was on the wrong path. Yes, yes. And yes. but but you have but, to be brought back. Exactly. But my parents, back. yes, with <laughs> discipline. Yes. And uh, censure, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. they brought me to the right way, and now I totally appreciate uh, the way of the rice. The way of the, the rice. Way, it's a way. Rice is universal. You know, it's interesting. Um, so, 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 my kids. So, yeah, I don't know if I told you this. I think I have. I don't cook seriously. I cook for fun. Like, and and what I mean by that is, my wife uh, is is the cook in the house. She makes meals every day, like day in, day out, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Most days, my wife takes care of it. So yeah. usually Saturday morning, you know, fun dad, I'll make pancakes, I'll make uh, French toast, I'll make omelets, I'll make bacon wrapped things, right? I make fun things. Uh, I'll make some 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 smoothies. The kids loved when daddy makes smoothies because daddy yeah. always puts weird stuff in there. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll make Sunday dinner, I'll make chili, right? The things that I do are things that I enjoy doing because uh, when I'm on, when I'm not on the road, it's like a good like cutting vegetables is is like my my like inner peace inner peace. You're zen at that moment, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah, I'm focus. one with the cutting board. Uh, yeah, so 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 like it's it's very interesting to see the um, how my kids enjoy grandma's food much better than they enjoy anything that I do, and my mom. So I, I'm one a model uh, a model like three of five. Actually, no, that's not true. I'm number four, four, or four of five. Four, yeah. Uh, four brothers, and so uh, my mom, when she makes food, she cooks for an army because we usually each bring a friend at home. And if you've noticed, yeah. I, I'm not the biggest of the family. <laughs> I yeah. actually have. I'm the smallest, but not the biggest. Yeah, and so when she makes food, she makes food for an army. And Gino, you can attest to this. You've eaten at my mom's. Uh, no matter when yeah. you drop off, there's, there's always there's food. There's always food. <laughs> I, 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 from young, I remember you go to his mom. No matter what time, you yeah. came in the morning, yeah. you came at night, you came at lunch. Don't matter. Uh, th- there's food. Uh, not only is there food, mm. uh, but you have to have it. Mm-hmm. It's not really an option. Mm-mm. You can't really go and say, "Yeah, I ate," Mm-mm. and then there, she's gonna be like, "Yeah, but what do you come then?" <laughs> My my mom will feed you and le- and let you leave with leftovers. Like you have to yes take yes, some yes yes yes. You have no, to take no, some. No, this is yeah, yeah. this is your plate and this is your to go plate. Yes. So because yes. you know you look a little skinny, and yeah, she will say yeah, yeah, you yeah. look a little skinny yeah, to yeah, absolutely yeah. everyone. Yes. Uh, yes. So yeah, man, it's it's and and it is super interesting that my kids and my mom when she cooks, it's it's not uh, sure. My mom puts a lot of love in her food, and I think. You know, arguably, my mom's probably one of the best cooks that I know. Like, she, I'd say in the top three. And everybody says, oh, you're supposed to say that. But my wife actually agrees that my mom is one of the best cooks. So boom. Anybody knows? So, I mean, you know. Uh, but my kids prefer my mom's food, which is not fun, which is very utilitarian, which is very much, you know, you have your food groups and it's organized. And, you know, there's salad, there's rice, there's meat. And my kids prefer eating my mom's food than daddy's fun food. So, and, and I'll, you know. My boy will ask me for grilled cheese made with naan bread and gouda cheese. Like, my boy will ask for that. Fancy taste. Yeah, because it's my fault. Completely and utterly my and when, fault. When he wanted, he said, do you want something to drink? Yeah, I'll have fizzy water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. He's not a Voss yet, because then I will have failed in life. <laughs> <laughs> Failure yeah, in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, he will ask for sparkling water regularly. Oh, yeah. And he, um, may I have lemon with this, oh, yes. please? Wow. Like, my yeah. Old boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you, you know, at the restaurant, do you want apple juice or orange juice? Um, sparkling water, please. Like <laughs> many wow. waitresses, many wow. waitresses have been like, hmm. <laughs> "May I have great coupon?" <laughs> but of course, <laughs> it has the bread. Oh yeah. Oh man, my kids, man, my kids. A food makes a difference. Food, food makes a difference. It puts food. color. It puts yes. color. Yes, and I and and I agree. It. See, there's a reason why the go-to activity, mm-hmm. no matter who you're with. No matter if it's a date, mm-hmm. just a friend, a business meeting. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, we can go for drinks, but before or after, it will something will involve food. 
Breaking bread, absolutely. You need to break. You need to break bread, yeah. and breaking bread is part of this custom where you're with someone. Mm. You wouldn't eat with an enemy. Mm. You wouldn't eat with an enemy, and if you do, you wouldn't do it the same way. Okay. Hmm. So, are you bringing it to church here? <laughs> hey, <laughs> which is funny because you have the verse when he says you you will to dress the table mm -hmm. in front of my enemies. When, uh, yes, see, yes, 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 yes. Is that, yes, um, yes. isn't it the same, uh, when I walk in the shadow of death? Psalm 23. Yeah, so it's, that's part of Psalm 23, yeah. right? I'm a little rusty. Jeez. Um, My memory works in mysterious ways. <laughs> My God. My memory My God. works in mysterious ways. Like, <laughs> I have no actual control over it. It's just... You just went, click. Oh, yeah. Kid no, things just yeah, come to the front of my in. mind. and I, It just I kicked in. So, yeah. That's, 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 a, good, that's a good one. See, I should have remembered, and boom, it, it, you brought it there. Yeah. So, yeah. So, apart from that exception, uh, yeah, you wouldn't eat with enemies. The fact that of breaking bread, mm -hmm. there's a trust. You're like, hey, let's break bread. Mm -hmm. Back to the convo we had when we were talking about giving. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. And... It's an exchange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm bringing you to the table, let's start with this. Literally. If I'm bringing you to the table. Literally. The same way you use it even in business. Like, you know, mm -hmm. what do you bring to the table? Mm -hmm. You know? I would argue it has less to do with business and more about food. Damn. When using that expression. What do you bring to the, the table? table? Dude, we're going to eat. We're going to eat. Why do we say, hey, um, uh... We have to bring the bread, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bread and butter, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about these are these food, are food analogies. analogies. So every time food you, is culture, isn't it? It's culture. It's life. And I'm telling you, hey, what do you have huh. to? What do you bring to the table? Basically, life is, is is sharing. It's common sharing. It's a potluck. Yeah, 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 yeah. And to shoot, I should see. We're talking about memory. I know I have an awesome meme about this somewhere. Okay, <laughs> I know it. <laughs> and I'm going to be pissed off when I find it later on. But I, I kind of remember somebody saying, hey, when you're talking about bringing to the table, mm -hmm. um, we agree mm -hmm. that you're totally in your rights. When people bring in food that we're supposed to share together, yeah. that dude that made no effort. Yes. Okay? Yes. That either didn't bring anything or brought store-bought stuff. Store-bought stuff. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one step further. Did you bring fruit cake? Did you dare bring fruit, fruit cake? cake? <laughs> Just tell me I need to add some bricks to my house. <laughs> Why? Why? You, you know, Steve, my brother Steve, actually did. Uh, one of the most Steve, I think he's actually a samurai in hiding or something. Like he did one of the most gangster or, moves ever. Or, or a savant. I know with Steve, I never know like how to do it. Yeah, he Facts. brought the world's best fruit cake, and he didn't tell anyone. So he just brought the fruit cake, left it at my house. One of those days, he's like, "Yo, I want something sweet." Yo, listen, I I think there's some fruit cake in this place. This wow. place in my house. I'm like. Wow. And then I had it. It was delicious. And I was like, I don't want to like this. This is fruitcake. Hey, you, the guy, he set traps. Yes. Then if I go all He the brought it to my house without telling me. Hit it. It was a setup. It was a setup. It was a setup. Yeah. Oh, well exit. Bravo, well Steve. Well executed. Well executed. I, 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 no, I respect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I respect that. Yeah. Props. So apart from that exception, and because it is exceptional. It I is do exceptional. Say it. it was exceptional. Fruit cake doesn't pass out of, no. out of potluck. Don't bring fruit, fruit cake to the don't, potluck. Don't do no, that. Don't, don't do, that. do that. Otherwise, uh, you won't be invited to the right, Or as I would appreciate, like, like, you will not be invited to, to the, the cookout. Co yeah, you won't be invited to the We're, cookout. We are not bringing you to the cook -in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not coming home. You're not. Yeah. Stay at your house. Yeah. Eat your fruit cake. Yeah, Break yeah, your teeth. Yeah. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> hey. Uh, that was but, funny. Uh, but yeah, I think we agree. I think we, we really agree on this one. Yeah. Food and culture are, are very well intertwined because when you, when you think about history, when you think about, uh, when you think about fond memories, the cultural experiences are, are either religious celebrations, 
right? Or cultural celebrations, and all those cultural celebrations are usually uh, held around or, or bound around uh, some kind of, of, of experience of breaking bread, some special meals, uh, right? I mean, there's the the special bread, the, you know, the, the braided bread. Uh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, like there's, yeah. There's, a, there's a whole bunch of things that I can talk about. And the reality is, is every one of those different cultural things that I've learned have all had to do with food. They were all around, oh, you should eat this, da da da. This food comes from this, uh, this tradition, da da da. And I mean, you know, there's too many for me to name. And Montreal being a very diverse city, yes. uh, you have the opportunity to, sit, to break bread with the Greeks, the Jews, uh, the, Af the various Africans, uh, Ethiopians, Senegalese, uh, Ivorians, Congolese. Like you break bread with all those people and they'll tell you stories as you're having fufu or yes. you're having plantains. And you're yeah. like, huh, that's where yeah. it comes from. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's yeah. So yeah, definitely. I, I, I think that I think that we agree. Food is definitely he, here. Culture. Here what I found. Here's what I find ironic. Hmm. Um, with all the good food in the world, all the different flavors, taste, okay, techniques hmm. that are involved in food making. How the f can you still be racist? <laughs> I have to. I have to bring it in because every time. I hear a racist comment. Yeah. If y'all say we need to get rid of the Muslims and Arabs because they're terrorists. Don't do that. Do not be going to eat at Amir. Yeah. Do not be eating at Basha. Yeah. Okay? Do not be eating at Bustan. Do not be able like... Seriously. Stop with the... Stop with the... Kebabs. Please. Stop with the shish Please. Stop with the... If you, if, you say, if you say you hating on anyone, you're... You know what? Yo! Okay, okay, okay. New rule. All right? New rule. Somebody hating on a culture is not allowed to eat their food. See, see how long that lasts. Yeah. <laughs> see how long that lasts. See, let me... No. Let's do, go further. What's your original culture supposed to be eating? Yo. Because if, if we're going to... Now, I might lose some people from the States. But for people from Quebec... Okay? Mm. Uh, apart from poutine, yeah. the only other thing you can call your own is tourtière. Yeah, and even your tourtière isn't real tourtière <laughs> because the tourtre doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> that bird gone. The main meat that, that was part of your main meal does not exist anymore. It went <laughs> extinct. <laughs> so, son, you ain't got nothing you can eat. Listen, listen, you can't tell me, you, you can't tell me people in the UK be like, oh, we hate those, those Indian people and yet we want to eat curry like all the time or, 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 uh, you know, the people in, in uh, complaining about the Japanese and then they eat the freaking ramen and they're like, damn, right. Or, but, or sushi or whatever. Worse. Like they'll, they'll, they'll be, they'll be eating the ramen. They'll yeah. be eating, eating sushi. Yeah. Um, uh. They, they will they will vent out by doing martial arts yeah. from Japan, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Some of them have the audacity to watch anime, yeah. But then you're like, yeah, but the chi guys, you know, yeah. they, we don't want them. They don't know how to drive. So I, I'm I'm saying, if if you have any doubt, you 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 see you have certain tendencies of treating other people. Like people from other ethnicities, other countries, wrong. Yeah. If you want a reminder of why you shouldn't, just just seeing what you consume, yeah. what you eat, what you feed yourself with. If you're accepting the food that comes from my country, you gotta accept you, me too. Yeah. Maybe, just maybe, my country is not a shithole. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not really pointing to anyone. No one. No one. No. No. no one says that. No, no. one says that. No one says I'm, that. I'm just saying, y'all best to not be eating any types of grill, any types of patties, <laughs> not any types of rice. My young friend, you better be eating Cheetos and that's it. Mm. Rice Krispies, maybe? No. I'm, I'm, I doubt it's even <laughs> not isn't from Pop. here. Uh, well, anyways. So, so, enough about food. Well, actually, um, the, the, the segue is going to be good, right? Because yeah. I think we wanted to discuss... Uh, weed. Yeah, 420, baby. <laughs> Legalization uh, affects 
for, against, uh, let's go with that. I get that. Yeah, we could get that. Per, per, personally, um, and, and this is going to sound cold, uh, and very simply, what I see is just a revitalization of the uh, farming world, right? That's what I, that's how I see it. See, right now, oh, I didn't think about going there. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, I, yeah. So, like I said, I'm I'm very, you know, to me, it's very very simple. It's good for the country. It's good for everyone. It's good for the English. It's it's good for the economy. It's good for everyone. Because when there's more money, uh, it's good for everyone. More money means less infighting. More jobs, whatever. Um, when you think about all the, the, the Canadian provinces, the, the, the flat land of Canada yeah. and in the U.S. as well, right? Yeah, right lots, now, lots. we have a lot of flat land. People are very much concentrated in coasts and, and very uh, insular places. But when you, when you consider all the, the land that's not being exploited just because it's not profitable or because it's expensive to exploit and it's, it's low cost, it's, uh, low yield, high cost of operation, right? The cost of machinery, blah, 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 blah. Then you start looking at, well, you have this plant that people can smoke, make clothes with, make all these different products, oils, medicines, whatever, right? This one plant uh, versus uh, where people are basically growing corn for, for animal feed, and which is unhealthy for animals, unhealthy for, like, Right to me is from an economic standpoint. From an economic standpoint, I'm not. I, I personally don't partake in in the, in the magic herb, uh, and so to me, it's it, that's where I see a tremendous amount of value. I think it's good for the economy. It's good for the people. It's good for the farmers, which means in terms, it's going to be good for for. And then that's that's pretty much because people are doing it right now. There's no if buts or maybe people. I think all drugs should be legalized. Personally, that's another conversation, okay. which, which we can that's have a, right now if you want to. That's an interesting. But one. to me, everything should be legalized because people are doing it right now. And while you're wasting time, energy, and money at trying to enforce laws that no one really cares about and treating people like criminals, instead legalize, treat people that have a problem. Uh, uh, control. find control, control, make money from it, m minimize crime because the reality of criminality is offer and demand, right? Offer yeah. is high when demand is hard to get. Uh, yeah. And that's it. The, the people, that, the countries in the world that have the highest, the toughest laws on drugs are the ones buying them most. Mm. So, you know, to me, it's like, ooh, um, war on drug, war on drug. Uh, all the drug users are in your country. I'm just saying. Like, it, it's fail something. Epic it's true. It's true. It's true because the, the the cocaine problem is not in Mexico. It's not in Cuba. They don't have that problem. They they're just exporting whatever they have as resources, yeah. and then we have the problem here where we're buying it here. Yeah. So it's like people at McDonald's. They're all healthy. Yeah. We're eating there. We're fat. Tough luck. <laughs> yeah. Tough luck. Um, my thought. You know what? You brought some interesting points. I've, I've, I, until recently, I haven't, I did not completely make up my mind on it. Mm. Um, but growing up uh, and maturing, I have realized that there was a stigma to marijuana in particular. Mm. Uh, we've seen, you know, uh, videos to to promote, you know abstaining from it from yeah. back in the 80s 90s um and we all know uh, that most of the effects that were mentioned and all these news that were propagated yeah. were, were complete lies okay fabrication government um, fabrication for sure and what i'm gonna say okay so just so you understand i have never smoked weed oh wow never. i have never smoked weed i've never uh, smoked cigarette um so I haven't taken any illicit drugs ever. My drug of choices is uh, Claritin, Reactin, Tylenol, Motrin, <laughs> okay? <laughs> it's allergy medicine, cold medicine. I have a weak system. I get sick often. That's it. I'm not going to give myself props to be like, yo, it's because I'm so pure and uh, uh, I'm above you guys. That's why I never fell for these low-level sins of yours. Um, no, it's first of all, I got asthma. So anything involving smoking is already a no-no. Uh, I've smoked shisha twice mm -hmm. because I believe the lie somebody told me. 
that told me, <laughs> hey, it's natural. It'll be fine. It's not like cigarettes. Not There's no works. nicotine. It's it's all good. It's not how that works. It tastes like, you know, you know, I don't know, uh, strawberries and vanilla. Yeah. You'll love it. I was like, hey, it's sweet. It smells good. Let's go. <laughs> Bubbles. First time, like, <clears throat> okay, that's special. <laughs> <laughs> Never touched that shit again. <clears throat> and it's over. So that's that's it. Yeah. Now. Yeah, that's not how that works. Not. But that's not work but, at but, all. But, but by the way, by the way, I just I, public service announcement. I just have to. I absolutely have to. Just because something is natural does not mean it's not toxic. Uh, that ha- that's not how that works. That's not, that's uh, not how that works. Yeah, natural yeah. versus not natural. People that oh, it's natural. It's good for you. Listen, mushrooms, magic mushrooms. Some that can kill you. Some that are just poisoning yeah. you enough to give you hallucinations. That's all a hundred percent natural. It requires no transformation. Yes. They come from nature, and some of them can kill you. Some of them will give you hallucinations. So this people tell me oh, it's natural. Natural don't mean boo. Yeah. All right, okay. Sorry. And, and just and actually, I'm going to continue on this just as a reminder. Yeah. To give you an example so you know uh, how uh, this the logic works. Yeah. Uh, getting punched in the face is natural. Yeah, also. very natural. And nobody's going around <laughs> saying, "Yeah, like, give me some of that natural medicine," <laughs> even though some of you should really, really need <laughs> that <Some> medicine. natural. <laughs> just a good wah. Natural intervention. Bah! Real quick. <laughs> let's go and everything. So yeah. back to me. Never taking any drugs. And that's my own uh, conviction and natural uh, predisposition. I have. It doesn't agree with you. You know it. You don't want to try so it. I don't, there's no need for me to go on. I have. Okay. Just, just uh, uh, full Complete disclosure. Full disclosure. Yeah. Right. I, I have. I've. I, I wanted to know what it was like. I was around friends and everybody was doing it. Yeah, I know it sounds cheesy. I don't care. Everybody was doing it. Yeah. I felt like you know what? Um, I have no idea what it is. I don't know whether I like it or not. Did some research. Wanted to know how it worked. Got some got an understanding of the effects of of uh, of the various uh, THC. I, I figured I figured let me experiment. So I experiment. You weren't the scientific uh, yeah. path. Yeah, as, which as is geeks. Yeah. That's pretty much what we do. I tried it. I saw. I was around other people. I was at a party with a bunch of kids. Tried it once. Tried it twice. Third time I tried, I was like, well, this is not fun. Like, I'm not enjoying myself. This is giving me absolutely nothing, nothing. more. I'm simply participating in a group thing. What's the point? Yeah. Uh, and so I, I stopped doing it altogether. I stopped consuming uh, weed. Not because I thought it was bad, just because I thought it brought me nothing. I thought it added no value. So uh, yeah. I, just, I, I just stopped taking part. But, you know. And so back to what... Right. Yeah, back so to yeah, what I've, 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 I, I'm not doing it. But yeah. again, I was always hearing, you know, weed's bad for you, blah, blah. And I'm, I am... How can I say? I like going through things logically. Yeah. Even when it has to come to it comes to faith, mm-hmm. right? So yes, I would hear, hey, drugs are bad for you, that's why you shouldn't be taking it. And I always take the information and I, I separate it. I mm-hmm. dissect it and I like, okay, why? Let me play devil's advocate. Let me play the other side mm-hmm. and see and understand. Now I I hung out when I was young I was young, I was hanging out hanging out with people that was smoking weed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what I'm gonna say is is I didn't know it was interesting. Interesting until I asked some. I told someone, and he said, "Yo, dude, that's 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 pretty deep." the The other thing that stopped me, I was gonna say safe, but whatever, stopped me from consuming weed is because mm-hmm. when I started in high school to rap, which was ninety seven, ninety eight. Okay. Now I'm calling back also the other episode talking about music, right? Yeah. And kids, and I explained that to my kids. Okay. When I started in ninety seven, ninety eight, most rappers were pushing uh, the use, the recreate, re- recreative, <laughs> recreational, recreational use, use yeah. of, of of weed. Yeah. So everybody's talking about yeah, smoke, smoke this ganja, smoke that la, you yeah. know, weed, and all these different, you know, um, names. all these names. And I came to the understanding because a lot of these rappers were saying, yeah, that's how I create. I smoke, I smoke a joint, and then my ideas. And I saw them like athletes consuming steroids. Wow. I, I assume, because that's that's how they played it. They played it wow. as if, yeah, you need, if you really want to go to a higher plane, yo, you want to spit deep rhymes and be super productive, 
you need to take this substance. Wow. So I saw it as, oh, well, these rappers are really good. Yeah. I'm going to be good without wow. taking that help. Damn. I'm going to do it without any effects whatsoever. Uh -huh. I'm no uh -huh. extras. It's just me. So that when I make a dope rhymes, when I make a dope rhyme, somebody's going to say, yo, how do you come up with that? Yo, I thought about it. Mm. I just thought about it. I, I racked my mind, my mind and I went through it and I was like, yo, this is it. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. then I write it down and then I wrap it. And it just so happened I was, I was performing better than most other rappers around me that was smoking. Because in reality, all of them now thinking that weed is the only way for you to have dope rhymes would smoke and smoke way too much. Yeah. Would be stone cold, wasted, yeah. never productive, nothing's coming out. They become what I call seasonal rapper. Mm -hmm. The type of dudes that you ask them, hey, it was, how's the project? We know we're in the winter right now, but we're going to rank, rank up. You know, when, when the, win the, 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 the weather starts to heat up, it's going to be summer. There's going to be shows. Then I'm going to start working on my stuff. Remember? Oh, there yeah. were seasonal rappers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember those. So I remember those. We were like, we just look at them like, yo, you guys aren't serious. Do you remember that show we did in Trois Rivières? Yeah. Do you remember that show we did in Trois Rivières? So yeah, a whole bunch of groupies. That was my first experience in groupies. Yeah. That is not where I was going with it. No, I, I'm I'm just stating facts. That's why I remember. That is Groupies not where I was going with this. everywhere. Yeah. It was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you are single, aren't you? Yes. Um, yeah. So I I remember um, what I remember of the show is we. Uh, Sandy drove us. I don't know if you yes, remember. Yes, yes, yes. Sandy drove us. His brother. Yeah, uh, yeah, big bro. I so we he drove us over there. We we went to perform, um, and everybody was drinking. the 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 show promoter actually offered us. He said, "Hey guys, we have a case of twenty four in the back." Like, come through, you can drink with us. And we're like, mm, we don't drink. <laughs> yeah, at the time, none of us drank. None of us We drank. were an anomaly in the rap game. We wouldn't smoke weed and we didn't drink. Yeah. I personally did not want to drink because every single time I had drank, I just got sleepy. And I'm like, I have to perform. There's Being no sleepy is not a good thing. Yeah. I need to be focused. I need to give my 100%. That's right. I'm being paid to be here. I want to give 100%. I don't want to take. I want to give. Uh, and so, you know, none of us were drinking. And what we ended up doing, and I don't know if you remember this, we all went to the to the corner store and we got gallons of water with... Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, we got gallons of water. We each took a gallon of water and we were drinking because we were dancing and partying and just getting in the, yeah. getting in the party mood to perform. Yeah. And then we were all drinking our gallons of water. And we're, we were, because we were standing outside with our gallons of water, water. And the cops stopped by. They were like, what are you doing? <laughs> drinking, drinking water. water. Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> See, water. as proof. When I was telling that story to people, I didn't remember it was at, 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 at 20. 20 yeah, yeah. yeah. And we had that. I was telling people, no. And people then thought we were like, you know, rat, rat uh, like, r we were just more rat, great. Or, Ratchet? No, not ratchet, but righteous. Yeah. Oh, it like, has but, nothing to do with oh, righteousness. Just like they're, 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 these guys, oh, they're, they're just yeah. like super clean, never have a single bad thought. No, 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 no. we're exactly like you guys. No, it's no. just that we're, we were super, we're, we're about being efficient at what we do. So, so uh, it was a long drive to go. We knew we had a long drive back. back. Uh, uh, we saw a group of very young, attractive females and being the only guy that's not pissed drunk in the room gives you a leg up that's just smarts that's just having smarts nothing more nothing less plus we weren't very old like what no 17 18 yeah we were fairly young so to us the idea of being allowed first to be in a club that was that was, that was a, a was crazy fun idea. uh uh having the opportunity to be in a town that we'd never been in that was also exciting. Uh, seeing all these young, attractive women that were literally throwing themselves at per people they didn't know but knew yes. were going to go on stage and on live radio. So they were excited that to see us. Deal. We were excited to be there. 
Uh, none of us had any experience whatsoever in any of those things. We just wanted to have a good time, and this, this is the time that we were having. So mm. yeah, it was. It has nothing to do. It had mm. nothing to do with righteousness. Nothing, Still nothing. has nothing to do with righteousness. Nope. There are situations in which I'll go. I'm not going to be drinking, not because I'm righteous, just nope. because I'm like I need my head. And, exactly. And, and you'll see me nursing one drink that I'm not drinking. I need my head. That's it. It's nothing more. That's it's being smart, and that's why it's so funny. Yeah. When we get in the conversation of weed, yeah. people will be like, oh, I know why you don't, if you don't smoke, that's not, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, why you don't want to smoke because well, it's illegal. And then, okay, look, illegal, not illegal, that's one thing. Yeah. Even if it was legalized. And that's the thing that annoys me the most. It will be legalized. If if you're, you're not smoking it yeah. because it's illegal, I'm not going to say it's hypocrite. But I, that's my annoyance. It's the fact that, oh, pe people that are scared are saying, the minute it's going to become legal, people are going to go in droves. Like, oh, finally, we could just smoke weed. It's not going to be that at all. But but even if the, if it is, to be, to be then, bluntly then, honest, then who cares? Uh, just don't be part of the people. That's my annoyance. My, my, the part that I find hypocr yeah. hypocritical is don't smoke it. Don't smoke it. Don't, do not smoke it. Plus, it's illegal. Yeah. Oh, it's legal? Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, we were saying, so, well, okay, yeah. Be against it, and that's and here's my thing. The reason I'm against it, though, I'm not, not against the legalization. Yeah, okay, all right. I'm not against the legalization, okay, because I know of its effect. Not personally, but I know how to read, okay, and search for information and ask people. Um, what effects? <laughs> Being hungry, don't you know it? Destroys oh, yeah. lives by messing up everybody's diet. Number one. No, look. It's like I call alcohol. Yeah. Okay. Is alcohol by itself, in and of itself, bad? No. Mm -hmm. Have a drink. Have two. Have three. Go to bed. Have six bottles. Maybe not. Maybe die, yeah. <laughs> Some do. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't drink and drive. You know, uh, understand that your your senses are numbed. Yeah. There's certain things you're not cogn cognitive, cognizant, cognizant about. Yeah. And knowing that, you should refrain in, like you said, certain situations. Yeah. And when it comes to drugs, and any drugs, that's that's the important part. If you're saying you have a problem with the effects of weed. Be aware that other drugs you take also have effect. Antidepressants. Mm. Mm. Uh, cigarette is a drug. Caffeine is a drug. I know it's not the same level, whatever, whatnot, but the, the way you treat it is the same. We could have decided that coffee is illegal. Yeah. It's so, a drug. So, 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 to me, so to me, when you talk about legalization, that's... It, to me, it's more about prohibition, right? Prohibition, prohibition yeah. does not work. Prohibition no. has never no, we've worked. We've tried it with alcohol and huh? uh, the, eh? well, no. eh? yeah. Al Capone, eh? Yeah. Eh? Opportunity, uh, opportunity creates uh, creates businesses, right? And if you make a product illegal, uh, enterprising individuals yes. will figure out yes. a way, we'll find a to, way. to deliver uh, find a way. The, the, the desired products to to the market. So to me, one, it makes sense from a business perspective, right? People want something. You want to buy it, let them have it. What people put in their bodies, in my personal opinion, is their own their business. Own. Right? As a matter of fact, in Iceland, I don't know if you've ever heard this, uh, in Iceland there's like a big music festival and you can have your drugs tested. Right? People pop pills. You can have oh, your drugs to tested. To see if it's legit what you, you yeah. were asking. Yeah, yeah, to make sure you won't die. Because it's a liability for the, for the, for the event. For too. They're like, listen, if you want overdose... We're effed, right? Because we have to provide ambulance service in a crowded area. It'll be hell, right? And if you take something that's going to kill you, it's also hell. From a health from a healthcare perspective, which is, should be the number one priority, it just doesn't make sense. Prohibition just does not make any sense. Can I interject? Yeah. Are you okay with um, syringe stations? The piquet? Yeah. Which is basically... Uh, injection, the government yeah. will provide a, a, a Safe center, injection. a place where they can safely inject their own drugs. They're not providing the drug. Yeah. They just have clean syringes and a nurse 
we'll do it. You cool with that? So, 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 okay. There's, it's interesting because yes, I'm cool with it. I just don't want it next to my house. Make sense? Right. I don't, I literally don't want my neighbors to be injections. Like I don't want. Yeah, yeah. Zombie around my house. Like I, I don't want the zombie apocalypse because basically yeah. that's what the zombie apocalypse is. You yes. know what I mean? Yes. A bunch of people high, can't walk, can't run yeah. around my house. I don't want that. Uh, I don't want my kids exposed to that and all that stuff. But but apart from that, the idea of people that are consuming drugs anyways in a place where they're not going to be a healthcare crisis, they're not going to cause a healthcare problem. To me, that just reduces the, the the spread of certain diseases. It reduces the stress on the infrastructure of the healthcare system. It just makes sense. What I find, uh, uh, by the way, I don't know if you heard of this, in Ottawa, there's a center uh, for for uh, alcohol, people that have alcohol problems where they will give wine controlled quantities for people that want to get off. Like they'll say, you can come in here, you can, we'll, we'll give you wine, literally, and we will give you like nine ounces in the morning, six ounces every oh. X number of hours, which helps them taper off. And so instead of them like having adverse reactions, because I don't know if you've ever seen somebody that's, that's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's horrible. They are in pain. They, they, like it messes up the whole system. So they, they, those people exist. You cannot disappear them. They're not going anywhere. So I say treat them. Treat them in a way that's humane, in a way that costs less because I am a taxpayer, right? And, and, and whether you want yeah, to or not, yeah, our, yeah, yeah. this government is a business. And as a, again, which is the first thing that I said, number one, from a business perspective, it makes sense. If it helps people, it's humane and it makes fiscal sense. It's fiscally responsible. Yeah. Do it. Just do it. I, it, 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 what people do in the privacy of their own home should not be something that frustrates you. What people do in the privacy of their own home should not make you angry. So if as you long, want to as, drugs, as long as, as, long as it doesn't, doesn't exactly, impeach on my, other my freedom. Uh, exactly. Right? So long as you don't impede my freedom and you're telling me this is going to cost me less. Yeah. Yeah. I vote for then it. You're like, go for it. But, yeah. that's, but, that's, but the, it's important for them to do it right and have control. So we know that children should not be consuming these things. I don't think children should be consuming alcohol. I don't think children should be smoking weed. So, so, so just, just, just let's be very, very careful here. The reason why I don't think children should, emphasis on should, be consuming these substances is because I think it'll impede on their health. That is that's, the reason that's, why. That's what, exactly. Okay, 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 okay. But it's a healthcare concern. Their brains yeah. are still developing. Uh, yeah, and when they grow up, it can, that's going to affect, affect their memory, yes. affect their, you just don't want this to happen. Yes, I don't want, I, I don't, okay, but the reason why is not because I disagree with the morality of this, of these things. It's because I think from a healthcare perspective, furthermore, I don't know if you've ever heard of this, uh, there's been literally case of schizophrenia coming out from people consuming weed that's way too strong which is a problem we didn't have before yeah when when we, everything was was uh, natural well, uh, growing, in the wild. <laughs> growing in the wild exactly. basically yeah hydro right now yeah, yeah, yeah. is it's another level strong. it's not the same drug every time i hear a comedian talking about it yeah, yeah. an old school dude talking about it and he's like yeah i'm just gonna be like, hey, hey hey relax why go you know? When I hear Snoop Dogg saying, don't touch this weed, it will kill you. When I hear Snoop Dogg saying, don't touch this one, it will kill you. It's like, oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay. That's, a, that's, a, that's a... Okay, Uncle Snoop. <laughs> I'll listen. Snoop In this situation, yes, Uncle Snoop. I'll listen. Because, <laughs> yeah. Bad. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Wow. Yeah, because yeah. it will kill you. So, so, so again, there's, it's, there's an importance. Now, I don't think we're going to get into that today, but yeah, what were you saying? Hold on, hold on. But, I, but, but one of the reasons why I'm for legalization is because legalization means testing, standardization, labeling, right? When you have an alcohol bottle, it tells you how much alcohol is in there, right? I was about to go into that, but from what I heard, the last studies that I checked, yeah. they st they're still not able to control that. So... Even though there's brand styles, whatever, whatnot, it's still a batch. They will figure it out. You well, know why, G? Well, no, but the important is they will, but they haven't. So right now, okay. it's not consistent. Okay. Okay. G, what I'm saying is, I promise you, 
when it turns into a trillion dollar industry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, We're making money out of it and I can start charging more because this one has more content of what it would not. This guy that just dropped and had a heart attack, that will be bad for business. People will very quickly, I promise you, very quickly, Dude, I'm, figure I'm, 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 it I'm crossing out. my fingers. See, see, this is the reason why I like, I have a love-hate relationship with capitalism. I have a love-hate relationship with capitalism and it's very, very simple. Why? Capitalism happens to be the best worst system, right? It just, it's the best of the worst there are. Yes. Right? Um, and, and so the market will regulate this quick. Uh, in the US, there's so much legislation and in Canada as well, right? Um, if a company serves you a product that kills you, they will go not out of business like in a little way. There's personal liabilities. People will go yeah, to jail. Yeah, people, yeah, people are going to pay. So, so I promise but... you that very, very quickly, the difference between the corner store, between the, the, the corner store and the corner seller, right? There's a significant difference. The corner store is a business. They have liability. They have business insurance. Yep. They have to make sure that the product that they what sell is, you. But what is the law? Because you, so even with the, the, the legislation and yeah. the legalization, yeah, yeah. okay, we still, we are still in the, the right, we still have the right to grow our own. And then, but we can't do a quantity. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. When we get, once we get For to a certain quantity, sale, yeah. then we're talking about commercial sell, yeah. and sell, which technically we have the same rules for food. I can cook as much food as I want, but if I start going outside and selling it, yeah. I need a permit because if somebody gets sick, yeah, somebody has to be responsible. Exactly. So that's why you can't just go outside and get your own food truck without anything and do it. You yeah. can do it. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's more so, complicated in Montreal. Exactly. Yeah. And that's another combo. <laughs> that's another combo. <laughs> we just started to have some trucks. Yeah. Some trucks. Yeah. And, and, and and they have to be tied to an actual restaurant. Yeah, and exactly. Water. And blah, then, blah, yeah, blah, they, it's blah, not, blah. we're far from the one, the ones from New York. But then again, I've had some hot dogs in New York that were just illegal by sight. Um, yeah. They should not have been there. Anywho. Um, so these are the rules for for okay we can grow some but again if i can grow my own yeah do you have control on how it's going to be and if 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 i can sell some to a certain extent then how does that work too how does that get tested i, I think there's, there's there's a lot of work to be done that's why i have an issue with the way that trudeau it's was pushing right it now? here here yeah. how it's getting yeah, pushed yeah. california doesn't have the issue that we have here yeah. And it wasn't like just a hey go, right? Here he's so gun ho on yeah we need to do it by this date. Yeah. And most people are not ready, from what I'm seeing. I think it's going to become a problem. So so I'm gonna start. I didn't I didn't think we were gonna go there, but then I'm gonna pull out my. Yeah, we could go light. <laughs> not go too deep. We I'm have gonna... eight minutes and a half yeah. to go. So <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say. Um, this is not a government. This, this, no solution will ever come from the government. As the, as the world has evolved, you know, the government has never solved anything. It's not the government that solves things, right? Agreed. If you if you think about distribution of products and goods, if you think about the way we solved for uh, a water filtration in the areas that didn't have it, if you think about the like, none of these problems have ever been solved by a government, yeah. and it's not their place to do that. Their place is to deregulate. And remove the the barriers to entry, and then they have to hand this into Healthcare Canada and say, okay, so you now are going to go to the producers, and the producers are going to have to provide you with some norms. You have to have yeah. some health standards, and you have to enforce them. It has to be a mix. That's if yeah, no, no, but it ha but ultimately, Trudeau, not Trudeau, it was going to happen. The question is when, and if the if Canada didn't get into the market, eventually other countries were going to pass us by. And the fact of having this market will allow us to sell into other parts of the world that are going to be but, but cool, buy this product anyways. There's still, you know, planning, They're, making it work. For me, I think it's it's just it's, people are still testing, people are still reading on it. Yeah. I'm not saying it should be late and in the party, like everybody, like you know, later than everyone. Like the U.S. Or freshly like, late, but like, like the U.S. to have is at a cat as a category one, uh, uh, as a schedule one drug which means it has no health benefits whatsoever. And so it's illegal to have any studies done on the product. Well, do you that's, realize that's, that we- That's lovable, that's awesome. But do you realize that we, that, we awesome. stand, that we stand to be able to do the studies and lead the market in this world? I, I, don't, I have no idea what the legislation yeah. is gonna be like, what it's gonna end up being like. The reality is, is I think that between saying it's legal 
to, yeah. to, to consume for recreational purposes and it's going to be available in a store. It's not going to happen like people, I think some people think that July 1st, which is the... the yeah, people are like, ha ha! Yeah, I don't think that that's what's going to happen. There you go. What I think is going you to You get happen, some weed. You get some weed. And, and, and maybe, maybe, maybe you can call us out on this. I think that what's going to end up happening is the legislation is going to pass and then there's going to be governmental delays and then there's going to be uh, uh, provincial laws and then there's going to be municipal laws yeah. and then there's going to be building laws. Right? I think that that's how it's going to end up shaking down. I think that between the moment when the federal government says one thing and the local government say another, I think that there's a, a massive, there's going to be a massive lag delay between mm. the two of them and not like reverb delay, like actual delay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and when that happens, then you're going to start seeing a whole bunch of very creative people are going to solve oh, yeah, 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 everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Play with rules and then, yeah. yeah because we are like... talking about a trillion, with a T, trillion dollar industry. industry. All of a sudden, people get very creative. Very creative. Very, very fast. <laughs> before, because... be before we close it up, yeah. let's bring it back to children. Yeah. So what do you tell your kids? What do I tell my kids? Um, uh, I'm... I'm I'm gonna be educating them. I've done a lot of research myself, right? I, I understand the effect on the uh, the receptors, the brain receptors. I mean, when I say understand, I, I've read stuff and I can regurgitate the information. Yeah, exactly. Really we're not we're not scientists. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I don't have the education but, required to be able yeah. to speak to it intelligently, but I can regurgitate the information. At the very least, I want them to be asking questions. If they decide that this is something that they're gonna be doing, which I am not gonna stop them because again, prohibition doesn't work. Uh, what I'm going to make sure is that these experiences are happening in a safe environment, uh, right? I've, I've, I absolutely will make sure that it happens within a safe environment, which means my house, my house. And so, and so, you know, that's my plan. That's, that's my only strategy. I don't mind. I'm not going to dog them for doing what I did when I was a kid. That wouldn't be fair. Okay. So I can't, I can't say you can't do what daddy did because... Daddy was allowed and you're not. Like, that's not cool. So let me throw you a curveball. Yep. So what if it's cocaine? You know what, dude? Um, I will freak out inside. I will freak out inside, but I will not let it show. Or at least that's the plan. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's, a, it's a revolving door. Yeah. You know, um, sometimes we talk about weed as the gateway drug. I don't buy that. Uh, but here's the truth. It's not really a question of, oh, once you've tried this, you obli you're obligated to try other ones. Yeah. As a parent, it's more a question of once I let one in, I'm letting everyone in. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's a, I'm not going to call it a, pre a free pass, but it's still a free pass. Yeah. So once you've told the kids, yeah, you can have some, somebody come over, then the door's open on that issue. Of course. Then I have to either prevent and talk about it in advance yeah. or once we're there then I need to continue talking about it and explain why him it's okay him it's not okay if you start talking about boyfriend girlfriend no. same thing no. now we have to you know which no. is going to be another we're going to talk about it eventually I'm not ready yet I need to pray more <laughs> I need to read my bible no. I, I, need, cute, I, need, I, I need Becky's to immerse cute. myself in Psalm, in, Psalm, in, in Psalm 23. Yeah. I need to speak about bringing my enemies to the table. <laughs> Looking at them in the eyes yeah. while we break bread. And hopefully not bones. It's another dimension <laughs> completely. Yeah. Just say. But no, I'm happy. I, I wanted to bring it back to the kids because that's, that's, that's what we, we experience, yeah. right? We could talk about legisl legislation, yeah. drugs, weed, and however the real effect comes when we bring kids into it. Yeah, because at the end of the day, what I'm basically saying is I don't really care what other people do in their house. I really only care about what kids, what my family does exactly. and, and how it affects me, right? The same, the, theme, the same way I don't care about people shooting up next door so long as it's not in my house. <laughs> technically, technically, right? Technically, problem so, can come, but yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss that too. Anyways, tell us what you think about this stuff. Uh, we, I'd like to continue this conversation online. So if you guys want to comment, share, yeah. uh, reply, tweet at us, uh, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Um, yeah, so, so, so just I'd like to continue this conversation because I think it's an interesting subject. Yeah. Uh, whether it's about food and culture or it's about uh, the legalization of weed 
or mm-hmm. any other drug. Yeah. Uh, and 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 let me know. What do you think? Should I should I let my kids smoke weed in the house, or should I let them smoke weed outside of the house and not mm-hmm. really know what they're doing? So yeah, let us know. Maybe you'll say, hey, you need a vape pen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you need uh, a vape pen. Yeah. Do it properly. Be cool when you're doing it, dog. Yeah. Or something like that. And uh, yeah, if you even want to mention that, yo, when you smoke weed, uh, you get munchies and here's the cultural food you prefer eating. <laughs> I'm actually open to hearing all the comments. Uh, there's an, okay, an occasion uh, to take that information and use it properly. Maybe I'll, I'll make a song with it. And while I mention music, by the way, uh, I have music available. You can go on my website, www.discipledeca.com if you want. We'll, we'll use a magic like post-credit thing, like, you know, post-edit thing, and things will appear. I'm telling that to Danny right now. <laughs> yeah, because I'm going to make it appear. Yeah, something off your iPhone and be like, yeah, like, and then it's going to be there. Or maybe we don't have the budget for it, and I'm basically just moving my hands for no reason at the screen. And I'm looking totally stupid. But it don't matter. I'm just saying, if possible, <laughs> wink, wink, hint, hint. Things gonna happen. Put my website here. Go check my music. And like I said, we are super happy for you to watching uh, or listening to what we're saying. And share. Show it to somebody who wants to hear about it. And have an awesome day. Have an awesome week, guys. Be blessed. Peace. Peace.